Today we are talking about the vermicomposting, what is and how we make it. Maronaya, a family story behind a bottle. Hi guys, as you know, I'm Pietro from Podere la Maronaia. We are a family-run farm and produce biodynamic and organic wine in San Gimignano. Some of our wine won also the Merano Wine Hunter Festival. If you want to learn all about the wine world, follow us and subscribe to the channel. Before to start, we have our challenge. This one is a rosé, as you can see by the color. This wine, I cannot swear it because it's a sparkling wine. So, I just smell it and drink it. The bubbles are very soft, very smooth, full of taste. They are very, very full of taste. They are like bubble of powerful. This wine is very light and clean, very smooth, a little bit sweet. So a little bit sweet, especially in the finishing. This one is a very easy wine, you can guess, very, very easy. So today we are talking about the vermicomposting. But what is and how we made it and how we distribute it into our fields? The vermicomposting is probably one of the most important techniques that we use here. And these techniques allow the worm to transform and destroy the organic matter and create compost that we can use in our fields. This technique is very important first for the ecosystem because we recycle everything. Second one, because we increase the biodiversity and you know what it is into our soil. This one allow our soil to, to be more rich, to be more powerful, to give all these notes into our wines. So guys, once we clarify, what is, now we see how we made it. First, we have to choose the right type of worm. Yes, there are many types of worms. The ones that we choose are some one of the most common, it's called Lombricus, Rubellus, and they have a very good capacity to transform natural waste into compost. After, we have to set up their habitats. So, we use natural materials, we use woods, and after we cover, with manure, waste, uh, natural waste, like uh, part of the grapes, part of the plants. And after we give a lot of aeration, so we move it a lot in that way that they don't go, they don't stick together. And after we introduce the lombricus. After we have to feed them because they have to eat. So we have to provide every week two weeks, it depends, we have to check it, we have to provide them food. Food is organic matter, so we just take part of the plants, like right now, we, we start to make the green pruning in a few months, so we will bring everything there and they will transform it. Before we bring the winter pruning, we bring it all there and it will transform it. Once we have the harvest and the cherries are crushed, we bring there. So in that way, we can keep feed. Them. So after we have the maintenance, the maintenance, it's another part. It's another important part because we have to maintain all the level balance, maintain all the situation working in a good way. So what they need, they need water, especially in summer right now, they need a little bit of water to keep the humidity after they need the air so we have to move it a little bit to give them some air and after we have to change the organic matter because once it's finished we have to change it so we can take it and bring it into the fields now we see how to do For it the distribution part this one it's much easier because we go there with a tractor and in the tractor we have like a tank we fill the tank with compost and after we have a specific machine that in automatically distribute into the field. Of course, once we distribute the compost, we have also some worm. So as I told you at the beginning, this one gonna increase our biodiversity into the soil. 
that as you can understand by the last video it's so important for us and it's what we want to have on our vineyards so guys i hope that you like the video if you like it has always thumbs up and share it meanwhile here we have the other wine did you guess it if you don't i will tell you this one it's our quarto it's a sparkling rosé made with 100% Sangiovese. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you like it, as always, thumbs up and share it. Meanwhile, I wish you happy tasting. We see you in the next one. Bye. Cheers, guys.